YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. The ubiest of the tubiest. That's you. And I, 50 plus. Hey, look. Let me get it over there. Look at there. Look. Look. I'm showing you that because the last time I went into the Walmart, I actually bought some lotion. I know, I know. Y'all look at my videos and I'm going, that's you and I'm 50 plus. And the whole time look like I've been, you know, spending all day bowling with you. You know, that particular powder, powder in your fingers, you know. No. No. That's just ash. That's ash. Hence, my subscriber told me all this stuff flying around here is, you know, dead skin and stuff like that. And, and I'm pretty sure it is because... This truck needs to be cleaned good. Uh, it wasn't cleaned. Well, it, I take that back. I take that back. It was clean, but I don't know that it was, uh, you know, like the seats was vacuumed. And I noticed it because when I got up, it kind of like dusted up off the seat. So uh, when I get the truck to um, the, uh, the terminal, I'm going to try to have it cleaned up because um, when I get back in it, uh, I'm going to. During the time I'm at, at home, I'm going to work on it. Like that cord you see hanging in the background. I'm going to hide all that stuff. I'm going to get a drill out and start making some holes. And Swift just going to have to eat it. They just going to have to be all right with it. I like stuff to look pretty good. So I'm going to make it look decent and clean everything. Then I'll let you guys see what I got going on. Hey, you probably see in the background. I don't do a whole lot of stuff. I kind of like things neat and orderly. And, uh, and so, you know, I don't put a whole bunch of stuff, you know, messing around. I just don't do it. Okay. So, um, as you know, I try my best to run at night. I like to run while everybody else is asleep. Okay. If I can, it's not always possible. Sometimes I get these dropping, uh, live loads and live unloads in the same 14 hours, man. And that's tough, dude. And and um, Costco, Costco, uh, I picked up from their warehouse and I ended up delivering at a store. Because and very rarely do I do that. And it was a live unload at a store. I, I say rarely. I mean, I've never done it. That was the only time I ever done it. But I was able to uh, talk to the manager and they allowed me to park there at the Costco because they would not unload me until the store was closed. So they started unloading at 30. Shit, I could have went through a truck stop somewhere and, and been screwed. People parking on the on the uh, on the entrance ramps from the from, on the highway, man. I mean, it's it's crazy shit. You just don't really pay attention to when you're not a truck driver. But parking is oh my god, man. That is the fucking worst part. Back in a shit park. Parking and shit, but but finding a place to park, that's what I'm talking about. It is a pain in the ass, man. But not really for me, because as often as I can, I run all night. That means when I'm not ready to shut down, everybody's leaving the bigger truck stops. And since I got to be parked for a while and I'm parking early, I can't I'm not gonna get my hours back until midnight 01 okay so that means that like right now i'm paul i'm gonna be here for 13 hours because i cannot move until uh i said 1301 uh uh one o'clock uh uh one minute after midnight is what i'm trying to say guys one minute after midnight okay that's when i can move okay so, you sit there a long time. So, it, it does kind of matter what truck stop I stop at because I, you know, I don't want some some sort of amenities there. Most of these loves and TAs and flying J's and they have um, like McDonald's and Jack in the Box and some of them have Subway, which is okay. But I I, I just don't do a whole lot of those fast food places. Okay, I don't. It don't sit in my belly well. And uh, damn sure I ain't gonna eat another one of them guys. Y'all remember I ate them two hot dogs out of the uh, truck stop in uh, 
Yeah, they paid for it. They paid for it. I'm glad I wasn't. I'm glad I didn't eat them and start driving. I've yeah, been in trouble. So I kind of, you know, when I was with my mentor, he rarely, rarely, I mean, I bet we may have stopped maybe two or three times the entire time I was with him and spent the night at the Loves or a TA or a big place like that. The only time, we never, we didn't stop other than in the middle of the day, in the middle of the day, we would stop, go in and, and shower because everybody running so you can get a shower. Then we get right back in the truck and keep rolling. So we didn't stop until we got to these damn truck stops that I, I was like, what the fuck, man? How you, I'm never going to find this place. You know, I mean, you got to, you know, go around here and hide behind a tree and take a left at the, you know, old broke down tire or something. How, how, how you find these places? They, they, these are, they're truck stops, but they're not the big places. And, um, they have, uh, some of them wasn't even, uh, fuel. You can't even gas there. They're just like a cafe with a big ass truck stop parking lot. Okay. In a store, small little mom and pop places. Okay. But you know, mom start the cooking and you fix your breakfast. If you come in there doing lunch, your mom is making the, the, uh, lunch and you know, the places are small, uh, but they work so um i'm gonna spin you around i'm gonna show you this truck stop i'm sitting at right now it's not anything extra fancy but uh the reason i chose this place because i fueled right down the road at a flying j i fueled and um i didn't stay there i could have i didn't stay there i, I just that fueled up and took off and i did that because i didn't want to eat at the restaurant they had there and this off the beaten path place right here i knew it had to be decent because it had a scale to weigh your truck but it had a uh a family-run restaurant for uh you know a cafe you know for the food and they also had one of those cheddar things you know for the chicken so, you know, if you don't like, if you don't want to eat at the mom and pop restaurant, you can go eat over there. But I wanted to try the, the mom and pop restaurant. And if I like it, then I'll, I'll eat there. So I ate breakfast there and it was very reasonable. I don't eat a whole lot of breakfast, but breakfast was at 10 this morning, the Central Standard Time. So I did it and it turned out really well. So this is a check mark for me. So whenever I'm on 20 and I'm coming this way, and I want to stop. I'm gonna pick this place, and uh, and I'm gonna park, and then I'm gonna eat my breakfast there. That's what I'm gonna do, cause the place is pretty pretty good. But it's nothing special, okay? It's nothing special. Um. Also, I'm gonna you you're gonna download Trucker Path, and then. Uh, you're gonna use the, the tools that Trucker Path has for you. You'll it'll show you where the way stations are. You can choose what you want, where the Walmarts is, where the, where the uh, um, rest areas, uh, rest areas with parking, all that good stuff. And then you, you know you got a little map to choose which one you want. But you know which one you're choosing is a trucker's is a truck friendly road because we can't drive on every road, okay? There are some roads that you're on and then you have to detour because going further is prohibited by uh, uh, trucks with, um, you know, 18 wheelers. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. So I'm going to show you a little clip of uh, what I'm, what I'm talking about and, f and how I found this little off the beaten path. Um, truck stop and, and the, again again if you are a big company you can't feel a uh, fuel here they won't allow you to fuel here even if um, uh, the fuel is you know buy a gallon get a gallon free they still won't do it it's because they don't 
they won't run the risk of you getting old diesel or bad diesel and putting it in your truck and, and jacking something up. You go to a Loves or a TA, shit, they got trucks pumping fuel in there. Every, every second you pull this up, they pull out another truck pulling in. They just they can't keep fuel over there. You know, so you know that you're not getting old fuel. Okay, so they kind of want to know what they what you're pumping into their trucks. So you, you're not gonna be able to fit the fuel at one of these uh, places. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of let you see. I'm gonna spin you around. I'm at, I'm at the back of it too, by the way. So you're not really seeing much. Where's my little spinny aroundy thing? Oh, shit, maybe not. It, it doesn't matter. Shit, you can't see anything anyway. Um, sorry. Um, you're not gonna, you're not gonna be able to see anything anyway. I, I, I thought my little arrow was gonna be in here where I can, where I can uh, spin you guys around and see it, but no. Anyways, uh, watch the little video. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, it was my first little screen casty thing. Um, when I tell y'all what my show y'all what my other businesses are, you can be going, what the hell? But I don't do this shit. My, my, uh, I hire people, you know, and my sons do it. You know, they do all that video and editing and all that kind of stuff. This is all new to me. I mean, when you look at my other stuff, you're going, how the hell you do all that? And you don't know anything about this stuff. Because I have people who work for me that do that stuff. And, you know, you want to be successful, you can't be jack of everything. You surround yourself with people who can do it at a high level and uh, and let them do it. Just break it off for them, let them, you know, let them feel their coffers a little bit. And uh, and they handle all that stuff. So that, some of the stuff I'm doing is brand new. And I'm learning and I'm going to try to continue to make better videos for you, okay? But here's how I find the truck stops, okay? So that after you watch that, it'll be the end. So I'm going to give you your boop right now. Boop. Stay tuned. Here it comes.